Hey YouTube, Unix Soldier here. Today I'm going to talk about something pretty cool to do with Windows Server. This is one of the exam objectives on the 7640 from Microsoft. Um, it's called an RODC and it's a new thing with Windows 2008. And what it is is it's a server that actually um, is a lot more secure. And it's really useful in areas where there's not a lot of IT staff um, or none and or an area where there's not a lot of physical security and you just need a server lo locally to to help you with um, resolving queries and, and um, you know getting authorization from domain controllers and stuff like that a lot quicker so one of the things that's kind of confusing about read-only domain controllers is they don't hold passwords they only hold usernames so if they only hold usernames. Why are they important? Why would you want one in your branch office? Well, one of the big things to understand about read-only domain controllers is that they <coughs> they can cache passwords, but for the most part, by default, they have to forward any of the password requests onto a writable domain controller. Okay, and why are they useful then by default? Why would you install one of these? Because they, they can issue you a Kerberos ticket. And a Kerberos ticket is useful for re accessing resources on the network, such as a share or something like that. Um, so that's one of the main uses. Now, contrary to what I was just explaining, you can have them resolve passwords. You can have them do um, password caching or, um, yeah, password caching. So. If you want to cache user account passwords on there, that's fine. But by default, domain admin is not enabled, and that's for security reasons. And that's just so if anyone takes one, they they don't have any access to anything. And even if someone does take one, they can't really change anything on an RODC. They, they, the, the max they could do if you had credential caching in, in, enabled is you would be able to, if you had credential caching enabled, you'd be able to steal a password. But that's it. So that's why I think RODCs are pretty cool. Um, so I actually am not going to show you what an RODC is because I, I made a little mistake when I explained that and it's just because I don't have one set up because I don't need one um, I hope you like my video um, you guys can subscribe for more um, and let me know what you think comment below and uh, yeah thanks